Welcome back to the Tiny Lab. The world's highest performance tiny house on wheels. Today we're talking about the most important way to control your home chem, and we'll let you hear it straight from these world-class scientists. If we were to choose a hero for the indoor environment, it would probably be your fume hood. Yes, Dr. Vance is talking about this, your kitchen exhaust hood. We carefully designed the ventilation system in the Tiny Lab and chose the widely available and affordable Brone products to show how simple it is to protect air quality in homes of all sizes. So here's your kitchen exhaust crash course. First, what are we so afraid of? Not just smoke, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and moisture, which encourages bacteria and mold growth, but also VOCs, nitrogen oxides, and other chemicals, and particles. Think about it. The oil and the food in your frying pan is shedding this mist of tiny blobs that you, your children, and parents are definitely breathing in, and particles are never good to breathe in. Indoor air pollution can hurt your short-term and long-term health. And we're not just worried about the stovetop and the oven, but also the toaster, which the home chem experiment proved sheds tons of tiny particles that are, again, bad to breathe. First conclusion, use your kitchen exhaust fan every single time you cook, period. Next, make sure your fan is quiet, at least on low speed, where you're gonna keep it most of the time. Your exhaust fan should never drown out conversation or even bother you, really. In fact, this fan, it's on right now. Try to choose a fan that's two zones or less on low speed. One zone is the sound of a modern refrigerator running. And this Brone model that's less than 400 bucks is even quieter than that at 0.7 zones. There is simply no excuse for a jet engine fan anymore. Conclusion number two, the quieter it is, the more you'll enjoy using it every day. Last, make sure it sucks enough air to do its job and then it blows all those gases straight outside. It should be able to move at least 250 to 300 cubic feet per minute or CFM. And it also helps to have a box or bowl shaped hood. Now you can help a smaller hood along by putting it against a wall or even better in a corner like we did so that none of the air of the cooktop can escape the fan. You can prove that this works with just a little bit of smoke, and you can see that this one works perfectly even on low speed. But if you have a flat ceiling mount, a downdraft, or a kitchen island, those can work too. You just need more airflow. In those cases, consider adding 200 CFM, or find a range hood that's about six inches wider than the cooktop to compensate. The model we installed here was the Brone APE-130, but the new similar model to that is the BCSEK-1. The model number is listed below. And it also has Energy Star certification, and it has got LED lights, which this one doesn't have. And it's less than 250 bucks if you want to add that to your wish list. Final conclusion, prove it works. Test the airflow. Extra credit. Pushing air out of a home means air gets sucked in to replace it. New homes are being built more airtight because of updated codes. So what happens when you push air out of a better sealed box? You suck replacement air even harder. And it can start coming down chimneys and other places your kids shouldn't be breathing. In the super airtight tiny lab, when we turn the exhaust fan on high, the walls creak and your ears can actually feel it. There, we hit negative 140 pascals of pressure. That is basically three blower door tests at the same time. This is why it's so important to design makeup air into your exhaust system nowadays. When we turn on this exhaust fan, a motor opens an eight inch hole in the wall below, and that pressure can no longer hurt my family. In case you're feeling intimidated, don't. Brone has a tool for calculating your makeup air, along with a lot of other cool resources. Check those out at brone.com slash learn. Special thanks to Brett Singer of Berkeley National Lab and the Home Chem Scientists for helping us tell this story. Check out more on the Home Chem playlist. And to see and learn more, check with your public television station for showtimes of home diagnosis TV.